Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a first impression, my review, my thoughts on a new foundation. And this is by Laura Mercier, and this is the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. I'm going to be applying the foundation on camera. I'm also going to be doing a wear test and showing you guys how the foundation wears on someone with dry to normal skin, but usually more on the dry side. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amy. Me. I do videos on all things girly, especially videos on smelling good. If you like that type of content, don't forget to subscribe before you leave today's video and join the Glam Fam. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you here with me today and I appreciate you so, so much. With that said, if you would like to hear my thoughts on this new foundation, then just keep on watching. So we're going to be trying out the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. I did get two shades. One is a little bit darker. One is or should be the shade that I am at the moment. So before I let you know the shades that I got, I'm going to read a little bit on the foundation. It retails for $48 and they have 30 shades available for this foundation. The claims for this foundation are that it is vegan, it's a liquid formula, it's waterproof, natural finish, long wearing, and a medium coverage. It says that it is a weightless foundation that blurs the line between makeup and skin with medium buildable coverage, waterproof wear, and up to 12 hours of fade proof wear. It says that it is a hydrating foundation that delivers cake free color true wear that blurs the look of imperfections, pores and fine lines while improving skin tone texture immediately and over time. The formula is dermatologist tested, non-comedogenic and suitable for all skin types, even sensitive. So those are the claims of this foundation. I haven't seen any reviews. I haven't even read much about this foundation. I just picked it up because I am a foundation lover. So I did get the shades 2W2 Warm Linen and 3W1 Dusk. So I am going to put little swatches on my face of both of the shades so that you guys can have an idea in case you are similar to my skin tones. The packaging of this foundation got me. Before I even looked at the name or anything like that, as soon as I saw the foundation with the white cap and like the gold rim, it just it looks so beautiful and the frosted glass I really really like the way that they designed this foundation so here is the 2w2 warm linen and then the first one that I ordered I ordered online and I got 3w1 dusk which is much darker here they are side by side so I am thinking I'm going to keep this one just because I have been getting into self tanning. So it's good to have some darker options, but I am going to swatch them. First, I'm going to show you guys the consistency of the foundation. This one does seem to be a little bit more runny than the KVD Beauty Serum Foundation. That one I think was a little less runny than this one. This one's already making its way down my hand. Which side should I do? Right here, let's do this side. So here is the 2W2 Warm Linen is right here, which I think is pretty nice. And then here is the 3W1 Dusk. So there are the swatches. As you can see, this one is a darker shade. I'm going to blend them out a little bit as well just to see how they start to dry down. And then I'll choose which one I want to go with today. All right, so there are the shades. Yeah, this one is definitely a really nice like tan shade for me. But today we're going to go with this one just because... I'm wearing like a high top and I'm just gonna go ahead and match more of my face instead of my body. So I already applied my face primer, which I used the Refi face primer today. I wanted something that was a little bit more moisturizing. So we're going to see how it's going to lay on top of this primer. So I am going to blend this side with the Beauty Blender and then I'm going to do the other side with the Makeup by Mario foundation brush. But I will put everything in the description box below. I'm going to go ahead and go in with 2W2 shade. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Beauty Blender. Okay. 
Wow, this is really, really pretty. It's very natural looking and blends out really nice, but really evens out my skin and gives like the perfect amount of coverage without it being like super full coverage. Wow, it looks like skin. It doesn't look like I am applying a foundation. It just looks like I'm having like a great skin day. Blended so effortlessly, so that I am really, really liking. Let me go ahead and kind of bring down the lighting that I have here so that you guys can see kind of like All right, so I did notice that you do need just a few little dots on your face and you're going to get a beautiful coverage. I am so in love with this. It looks beautiful. It makes your skin, I'm going to build it up to see how this builds up. So I'm going to put like two or three more of those dots and then blend that in and let's see what happens once I add more. Does it get cakey or does it just layer beautifully? Because that's what it's doing. So for this foundation, I will say that this is perfect for those of you who have dry skin. Also, if you have oily skin, I think this is beautiful and then you can add your powders on top afterwards. So I think that this foundation might be perfect for just anybody. I feel like it just goes into my skin and it leaves this beautiful radiance as well. So I am going to try applying it with a brush and let's see how that goes almost has like a oily or like serum-y consistency. It's like very thin, almost feels like skincare, but then it just like sinks right into the skin. So it's really, really beautiful. And I do think you might get a higher coverage using a foundation brush. It's kind of what I am seeing right now. Okay, so on my forehead, I think I like the Beauty Blender better just because I can uh, press it into the skin. But on my cheeks, it did give me more coverage with the brush, but it went on beautifully with both. So I don't think that you have to use either a brush or a Beauty Blender. You can use whichever method of application you prefer. All right, so the foundation is on. This is definitely a foundation that I think would be for people who like a radiant finish, a more natural looking finish, but you still need some coverage. You know, maybe those skin tints are a little bit too sheer for you and you want something that offers a little bit more coverage, but you don't want to feel super full coverage or for example, you don't like using products like the KVD Good Apple Serum Foundation, which is like, full pigment, full coverage. This one is definitely more just, it perfects your skin. It gives you a really beautiful look, blends into the skin beautifully, and the radiance that it's giving me, I would say that it's more of a dewy finish foundation. But now I really want to see how it's going to play with powders and concealer and everything else. So I am going to do my makeup. I'm going to play some music, speed it up for you guys. And I'm also going to be putting all of the products that I use in the description box. And also there will be a full get ready with me video on the entire look today including my eyes and everything else that's going to be on a separate video so I'm going to go ahead and first off let you guys know what time the foundation went on so the foundation went on at 1 27 that is the time that I am applying the foundation now I am going to speed it up I'm going to finish my makeup and I will be back to let you guys know my thoughts on this foundation
All right guys, so my makeup is all done. I have everything on. I have powders and blush and I set my makeup with a mist. I used two different types of powders and everything just blended so beautifully. I had no trouble with anything. I will say that it is a little bit more matte than I would have liked, but that's because every time that I use the Givenchy powder, that really mattifies my skin. But it really just made my skin very smooth, poreless. Everything blends out beautifully on top of this foundation. You still have like a glow to you. There's a very, very nice coverage to it. I would say medium to full because everything looks so nicely just my skin looks very, very even. Yeah, and my skin just looks very healthy and moisturized even though I look matte. I don't even know how to explain that. There's definitely like a glow to this foundation, makes your skin just look so radiant and dewy and healthy. I'm really liking it. This can definitely make it up there to my favorite foundations just by the way that it is performing, the way that it applied, the way that all of my makeup blended on top of it. It just didn't give me any problems. So at the moment, I'm really, really loving the foundation. I am going to be filming a few videos, a few fragrance videos, my fragrance layering combos and all of that for the month. So I am going to be wearing this foundation for the rest of today. And I am going to be doing an update on the way that it wears. So look out for that. So if you would like to see how this foundation wears, stick around. So I will see you guys a little bit later on. All right guys, so I am back and it is 7.43. That is the time, 7.43 p.m. And I am ready to take my makeup off. I'm tired. I just stuffed myself. I had pizza today. It's Friday night. So I still have the foundation on and I do have some thoughts. The first thing that I did notice was that as soon as we went out uh, to go pick up the pizza, my face started getting a little itchy, but I don't want to say that it was the foundation because I have been having really bad allergies lately. Like my nose is always itchy. So I, maybe it was just that I was going through some allergies. So that was one thing that I did notice. But I, when I look in the mirror, I actually love the way that my makeup looks. It's kind of worn off a little bit around my mouth. Considering that I had pizza, I still do have makeup. It's just that it's a little bit faded off. But everywhere else is exactly how it was when I first applied it. Everything is still there. My bronzer, my blush, my concealer, everything is fine. But right now for my first impressions, I'm really liking it. And I do recommend it for pretty much any skin type. All right guys, so that's going to be my first impression and my thoughts on the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you would like to try this foundation or if you already tried it out and let me know what was your experience with the foundation. Did you like it? I would love to hear your thoughts about it. I will continue to use the foundation and I will possibly update in a favorites video. That's usually where the makeup that I really love ends up is in my monthly favorites. So I am going to continue to use this foundation and I'm really, really liking it. So yeah, that's going to be it from me today. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video.